All right, guys, here we are. Real versus fake. We got the fake to the left, real to the right. You can already see the color tone differences of the elephant print on the box, as well as the size too. The size on the replica pair is just a little bit smaller to the left there, while the retail pair is larger, which is the case nine times out of ten. As you already know, the boxes are typically smaller to save on shipping logistics from across that water, as <laughs> we all like to say so much so. Let's go ahead here and have a look at the label here. This is the actual retail label, as you can see. Um, obviously, crystal clear, came in good shape. Um, this is a retail pair through finish line. And here is the replicated pair. Again, you saw, you see the dark, darker tone color of the elephant print. And to be honest, label, it hit the target, guys. Again, scammable pair, no question. Scammable box, no question. So having a look here, the internal tissue paper matches the color of the elephant print, as you see there. Um, looks good, to be very honest. Looks really good. Uh, I forgot to take that little StockX tag out, but usually these replicated products come with those authentication certification tags and so forth. And on the retail to the right, it is white, your grayish white elephant print. So it's not that brownish color. Uh, ironically, I think it would have been cool if it came with the brown color, though. It kind of fits the mold better, in my opinion. Why do you mold sticker in there as well? That's not in the replica either. That doesn't just that doesn't mean the official pair you have is officially real or not. But it's a good tactic to use to get you started on the authentication process. So I'm just double checking the uh, replica to the left. Make sure the YDM mold sticker was not in there, which it is not. Let's get to the shoes. Here we go. Which is real? Which is fake? They did their thing on this, didn't they? This is why this is this is definitely a scammable pair. So here is the retail right in front and center. And there's the rep, as you can see. And here we go. Elephant print is near identical. From the rep to the retail, it's a little bit bigger. The replica is overscaled. The whole shoe is overscaled. So everything's going to be a little bit higher and bigger. Elephant print and so forth. But again, you wouldn't know that unless you have the retail next to it. Again, the color tone of the uh, brown, the Orwood brown on the replica to the left, is a lighter tone versus the darker tone to the right on the retail. So what we're really doing at this point, guys, it's more of a comparison here because to be very honest... Um, as you could see here, they're very, very close to each other. Now, the Air Jordan Jumpman on the left is a bit darker tone gold, or brown, I should say, versus the lighter brown on the retail, which kind of gives a goldish color, in my opinion. Elephant print's a little bit higher, and again, it's overscaled. The tongue is bigger on the replica to the left, as you can see. See how much smaller the tongue is on the retail to the right? Also, the shape of the sock liner is a bit different, and the sock liner is a bit more of a brownish kind of goldish color versus to the left it's more like a flat brown on the replica to the left there it kind of looks gray in the camera but it's not it's, it's a brown but it just doesn't pop as much as the retail to the right and again like i said from the eye stay there and so forth you see how much overscaled it is you see the peak above the toe box of course, as you can see there. And again, the materials feel the same. I really think they nailed the sneaker, to be honest, guys. They definitely, most likely, deconstructed a retail pair and assembled a replica pair. No question. And again, I'm just going over the shape of the actual uh, sock liner there and an ankle collar. And to be honest, again, unless you got the retail and rep together, um, you're getting scammed on this pair, guys. No, it's not a high resale shoe, but like any shoe... Over time, it's going to gain a higher resale value. It is a three. I consider the Jordan 3 line a much more premium sneaker than anything else, um, to be very honest. But super, super cool here. And uh, let's see. The Jumpman on the tongues are near identical as well. I know you can't see it too well, but I'll save you guys the time and headache on it. And here's the other shoes. Of course, this one is actually, you see, you see, this is tough. So th this is the rep I can tell by the height of that tongue. So that's going to be the major call out. If that tongue goes above the collar, Chances are it could be fake. And it may depend on the size. These are both a size 12. And I know we already went over the differences on the uh, other pair of uh, shoes a few seconds ago. So we're going to see the same things here. If you see anything different, definitely point it out down below in the comment section. I would appreciate it. And again, as you see from the eye state up to the tongue, everything's overscaled and a little bit bigger, wider. But when I had these shoes by themselves till the retail came in, yeah, these are nearly identical, and they really are now, too. If they would have got that tongue height right, 
major problems. Again, you see the difference in the color tones of the Jumpman. One's darker, one's lighter. Of course, and like I said, that upper material feels exactly the same. So they, like I said, guys, th th this is, you know, I mean, I know a lot of people, you know, don't like using the word fake on this stuff or whatnot. It's a little bit easier for my viewers to differentiate, which is which. As you can see here, see the darker elephant print to the left on the retail versus the rep to the right. It's just lighter color tones. And this is your top tier, your typical top tier pair of shoes. Minor differences are going to be color tones and some structure differences. But on its own, there's nothing you can tell. But I'll be honest, you can walk with somebody who has a retail pair of these and they're not going to notice. And here's the internal insole retail here we're looking at right now. It's a darker brown, of course, on the insole versus the rep to the left. So that's definitely, um, again, you have to compare them together to know though. So you definitely want to be careful with this stuff. Dream Cell on the outer, much more polished on the retail to the right. Left is more of a flat matte black. So it's got to have that, you know, glossy effect. And with that, you made it to the end of the video. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully this will help somebody not get scammed in the future if they're looking to obtain an authentic pair, whether it's resale or not. And with that, y'all know what it is. Legit versus replicated out.